In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your TI-84 calculator to find the sum of a series. Okay. In this case, uh, we're going to look at the uh, finite sum, okay, for, okay, going from n equals 0 to 3. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do first is we need to uh, put the nth term into our uh, into into a into your calculator as a function. Okay, so I'm going to go to y, okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put this expression into here. Okay. So what I do is save it as a variable, and then that way we can just refer to it later on. Okay, instead of actually having to type it in. Okay, again. Okay, so this will be minus one two. Okay, I'm going to use x here instead of n. Doesn't really matter. Okay, and then divided by. Okay, so we have x. Okay, so factorial is under math. You click on math and then go to probability. Then scroll down until you see the fourth option. Okay, which is the factorial. And then multiply it by. Okay, two x plus one. And then make sure you close the parentheses here. Okay. So there's our nth term. Okay. It's except that it's in terms of x here, which is okay. All right. So we're going to quit out of this. So go to second mode. Okay. That will allow you to quit this. Okay. So now we're going to actually uh, we're going to do this uh, do the sum of this. Okay. So you're going to go to second stat. And then scroll over to math, and then scroll down to option five, which is the sum. Okay. And then go back into second stat, and then go to operations. Okay, scroll down until you get to the sequence. Okay, so that's option five. Okay, so um, so the expression here. Okay, normally this would be empty. Okay, unless you used it before. So to so remember we store the expression into y1. So to recall that you go under variables, okay, vars, and then just uh, go to y variables, enter function, and these are all the variables here. So we so we put the nth term into y1. So you want to use y1. So so just hit enter. Okay, uh, the variable is uh, is x. Okay, so again we can use any letter you want. In this case I used x here. Okay. And this is for a finite series. We're going from 0, that's the starting point. The ending point is 3. Okay. And then we're going to paste that. Okay. So you don't want to mess with the step size. It's already defaulted to go um, to step by integer value. Okay. And then paste this back into the, uh, into the sum here. Okay. All right. So then we need to make sure that we close the parentheses for this. And then enter. Okay, so that's the result of the summation. Okay. So now, uh, if you want to get the, uh, if you want to convert this into a fraction, okay, you just go to math, okay, and then hit fraction. Okay, and so the answer, right there's the, uh, there's the fractional form of this sum. Okay, twenty six over thirty five. Okay. Now, on the newer calculators, there is a, another way to do this if you have the uh, newer software. So like on mine, I have, you go to second, um, let's see, let's see, the second memory, yeah, so go to second memory, or second plus sign, and click on the first option about, and that will tell you the operating system here, okay, so, if you have, I believe it's 2.5 or later. If you have that, then you can, uh, you can do this another way. Okay, you can use this. You can use the symbolic tool on this for the summation. So let's let me quit out of this. And so to access that symbolic tool, you can go under math, okay, and then scroll down, and there you'll see a summation. Okay, so click on that, and there's the template for the summation. So again, you can use any variable you want. I'm going to go ahead and just use x here. So you type in x. And this is going from 0 to 3. Okay. And I've already defined this in y1, so I don't so I don't need to retype all this into here. Okay. So just go to vars. Okay. And 
come to y variables, select y1, and then, okay, and then just hit enter. Okay, so we get the same result here. Okay. All right, so that's how you can use your TI-84 calculator to find the sum of a series. If you're using a uh, TI-83, uh, it's it's the same. It's the same as using. Let's see if I can go back to that. It's, it's the same as using uh, this uh, this key. All right. Except that you're not going to. Um, except on a TI-83, it's not going to bring you. Uh, it's not going to show you the sequence. Okay. Uh, it's not going to show you the sequence menu. Uh, so in that case, if you do have a TI-3, what you need to do, it's going to, so you're going to go put in the sum, okay? Okay, so again, let me quit out of this. Okay. So we're going to go back into stat. Okay. I'm sorry, second stat. Go to math. Okay, type in sum. And then second stat and then go to operations and then select sequence okay so so if you're using a TI-3 you're not going to see this okay it's not going to give you a menu here all right so it's going to um, it's going to display uh, this it's going to give you the sequence on the main screen so okay so it's going to put the sequence like up here it's going to give you so basically, it's going to put the sum and the sequence there, and it's going to ask you, or it's going to expect you to put in the uh, this nth term, okay? Uh, which is you can still, you know, you can still do that by putting in by storing it to y1. It's going to ask you for the variable, okay? So you put in the variable, and it's going to, and then you put in the starting point and then stop point, okay? All right. So the only difference on the TA4 is that it gives you a menu where you can enter those. So on a TA3, you, it's not going to ask you like that. You have to put it in directly into the line command. Okay. All right. So that's how. So again, that's. I think most of y'all, um, most of y'all have access to a TA4. Okay. So that's how you. That's how you can use your calculator to find the series.